In my past 10 years teaching journey, one of the most frequently asked questions from my students is, can I master Chinese in 6 to 12 months time and how to achieve this? Well, today I'm going to answer this question and I'm going to show you 8 steps to learn Chinese most effectively. So if you are ready to rocket your Chinese learning, this is a video for you. Hello, I'm Ning Ning. I'm an author and a Mandarin educator. This year, I published three Chinese learning books. The Chinese vocabulary for beginners for new HSK1, Chinese conversations for beginners, and for intermediate. If you're ready to level up your Chinese, especially in spoken Chinese, make sure you check my books in the link by the description. So for the question, can I master Chinese in 6 to 12 months time? My answer is yes but with good effort and good strategy. Firstly, we need to be objective over here that master Chinese means achieving higher intermediate level or advanced level. If you are looking for fluency, realistically, it will take at least two years. And if somebody happened to tell you that you can do that less than that time, it is basically a fake talk. In reality, there are three factors determining your progressing in language learning. First, the amount of time and effort you can commit. Second, your determination or learning attitude. Third, your learning strategy. These are the three factors that make differences between an effective learner and a long effective learner. And because of this, I have met students who have mastered Chinese as short as a year. And later, I will tell you how particularly one student managed to do it. By contrast, I've also met many students who are always remain at a beginner level despite learning Chinese for almost 10 years, who basically failed all these three factors. For factor one and two, they are what you can control, whereas for factor three, the effective learning strategy, it is what we're going to focus today. So how important is strategy? Let me show you a Chinese idiom. 事半功倍 literally means with half the effort but achieving twice the result. It means as long as your strategy is effective, you can cut short a long process. Which I also mentioned on the learning tips of my two conversational books. And on the contrary, we also have this idiom. 事半功倍 spent twice the effort but only achieved half a result. So, if you want to master Chinese, we must go for 事半功倍 And to help you achieve this, I've summarized 8 steps So make sure you pay attention because it can really be a game changer of your learning journey Number 1. Learn in context Chinese language is a contextual language that many words have different meanings and usage in different contexts For example, word number 92 from my new HK1 book the word doing can be an adjective and a preposition. As adjective, it means correct. 他的回答很对. As a preposition, it means regarding. 对这件事,我们有不同的看法. That's why when learning a vocabulary, don't focus on its definition. Instead, focus on its context so that you can use correctly. Number two, don't translate. Think in the Chinese way. Have you ever asked how babies learn their mother tongue? Of course, not translating from word to word. They imitate, repeat, and think in the target language itself. And that is what you need to do. For example, on word 247, 明年, Chinese sentence, the English is, I'm going to study in Germany next year. You can tell the Chinese order is subject plus time plus verb plus location plus verb, which is basically the opposite of the English order. That's why when creating sentences, don't translate. Instead, think in the Chinese way and orders so that you can be faster in creating. Number three, build your own vocabulary and practice at every single opportunity. When learning Chinese, two most difficult parts are handwriting and vocabulary building. For writing, believe me, it is not just hard for foreign students, but also native speakers and even for teachers. No one can say I can write every single Chinese character. But the good news is that we don't need to write every single Chinese character. For general learners who are not looking for pass an exam, you can simply build up your vocabulary by writing simple, master pinyin, or just type on your PC or on your phone. 
and more importantly, create sentences with this vocabulary and practice as much as possible with your friends and teachers. Number four, read aloud and read with passion and energy. I cannot stress how important this is. When learning a language, there's nothing more important than speaking it out. If you happen to be in China and have lots of Chinese natives to speak with, that's amazing. If not, you got to find ways to speak out by reading aloud Chinese articles and stories. And this is the main reason why I create these two conversational books for you. Authentic Chinese daily conversations in fun stories to practice your Chinese speaking. Don't waste time on grammar memorizing because it does not work for human brains. The trick is by speaking it out and reading out constantly. Through it, the knowledge itself will become your second nature that you just master automatically. In the introductions of these two conversational books, I also explain this method in detail steps. So if you got the books, make sure you read it. Also, when you are reading aloud, don't be shy and quiet like this. Instead, imitate the audio, read out with passion and energy, just like 如果他浪费你们的时间,就是个没用的精米 Number 5. Listen as much as you can. This method has also been recommended by many language experts because it is like brain soaking, Pao Laozi, the key to improve your listening. That's why I do so many listening videos in my YouTube channel with both slow speed and normal speed. So please make good use of these videos and also practice on your you can listen and understand without looking at the English. And when you listen, it doesn't matter not to understand every word, just strive to understand the general meaning. Number 6. Immerse in Chinese TVs, films, and music. Immersion is definitely one of the most effective learning strategies. This is exactly how one student I know that mastered Chinese within one year. So how she did was, she was studying full-time in China. When I say full-time, that's six to eight hours per day. And more importantly, she immersed herself with Chinese friends, Chinese TVs, films, and music. She even went to marketplaces daily to practice and talk with people. As a result, she's not the fastest among all her classmates. For many of you who are not in China, try to beg some Chinese friends overseas and try to watch movies and listen to music. Especially for music, do not underestimate it because it really helps with the pronunciation. One of my students who loves music as a hobby and listens to Chinese music almost daily, when he speaks Chinese with me, his accent is so good that basically sounds like a native. Number seven, be bold and have confidence. Especially when you are a beginner, don't be shy with self-conscious. You need to know that everybody makes mistakes, not just learners, but also natives, teachers, or experts. So never let mistakes pull you off. Remember that we all grow from our own mistakes. So be bold and have confidence. Number eight, set goals and stay committed. Having a committed learning attitude and set goals from small to big will determine how far you can go on your Chinese learning journey. Because you don't want to be those students I mentioned earlier that despite learning Chinese for over 10 years, yet remain as a beginner. Why? Because they give up so easily. Remember, if you are committed, you will succeed. Just like one of my favorite Chinese idioms, 有志者事竟成, nothing is impossible to a winning heart. So these are the eight steps in total and I hope you enjoy it. If you like this, please hit the like button and also subscribe my channel. And more importantly, be an effective learner. From today on, stick with 事半功倍. This year has been busy and intense for me because of my five publications. And I would like to thank all of you who have supported my books. As a new author, your support means a lot to me. With my most recent publication, Mandarin Writing Practice Books, I also know some of you already bought it. So in order to thank you, I would like to offer you a special gift, my personalized Chinese name design. This is only part of my normal services of my business, but this time I would like to offer it free of charge to those of you who have purchased any four books of my total five publications. So anytime from today, in the coming two weeks, you can contact me to apply for it.
A personalized Chinese name is a smart creation and localization of your original name, a unique identity that reflects your personality and helps you engage better with your Chinese friends and business partners. So if you are ready, please check the description for the application and contact me as soon as possible because this is a limited offer of two weeks. And thank you so much for being with me today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I will see you next time.